What's good my people? We are back again for another one on this uh, Mr. Lix reaction channel guys Welcome once again for those of you new to this uh, channel Definitely subscribe to this uh, channel guys This is where I get to, um, give my reactions to a number of videos taking place In Dominican and Caribbean and the rest of the world by extension So with that said guys, like I said before, definitely subscribe Turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they come from Give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate that as well A thumbs up guys, click the like button Thumbs up button, yeah guys, I would appreciate it right there guys But this one Deals, of course, with that of Barbados, guys. And what you seen right there, guys? Please don't be shocked by what you're about to see, guys. But these are actually centipedes. I know some of you guys are freaking out right now. This is a centipede. This is a centipede. And this is what they're actually doing right there. They're actually bucketing centipedes, brothers and sisters. Centipede business. Making ding-dang in Barbados. Yet still we're telling people in Dominica can you shake their palm palm for them to make money. But with something in that Dominica, they win. Anyways, guys, this... Is the situation right there in Barbados, man? 30 people have signed up to be suppliers oh, of centipedes oh, or 40 leggers, as they're called Whoop. in Barbados. <laughs> and her pathologist, Damon Curry, says the ten. Oh, you probably missed that. Let me bring that back. 30 people have signed up to be suppliers of centipedes or 40 leggers, as they're called in Barbados. And her pathologist, Damon Curry, says the $10 bounty for each living centipede, six inches or longer, is helping some people earn extra cash. Hmm. Some uh, big cash we making, big cash. <laughs> All you have to do is catch a centipede, you know, guys. Ten dollars for a centipede, <laughs> boy. Will be small scale, like as I say, opportunity. Or you found one or two in the yard by chance, but there are about um, five that literally doing this full time. Hmm. Yeah, but that is their only source of income right now is catching centipedes. Hmm. But, but then there are others who luck and chance um, or luck or misfortune and chance <laughs> depending on you look at it uh, find one or two in the house when centipede bite you guys look at what that very situation right there centipede was in my house once or well, twice and brothers and sisters <laughs> luck and chance would not have me there now because i would quave a house must burn down brothers and sisters if you see centipede i see centipede <laughs> i will make a video on that <laughs> back in the day guys i don't think you guys will see it anymore because it was on previous channel, the Mr. Lakes um, vlog channel, Miss Productions channel, guys. And man, I tell you, centipede man, a glance I see centipede walking down a curtain. Glance, man. <laughs> All I go on for the rest of the night. And I make sure I had to find that centipede. Or that house, I burn in it down, brothers and sisters. I burn it. I, 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 all, you, all you might be laughing and checking. What? Guys, I serious as hell, man. I catch that and I waste the whole big on. On the centipede. <laughs> hey, that was something else, we right? So in the yard and they decide to bottle them and get a little extra money quickly. So <laughs> Boy, that's what that's the situation so far. Currently we have enough um, grassroots suppliers that we don't need anymore right now. Papa met. Well man making job in Barbados, eh? guys, interesting. They found a way of how to I think they're using the centipede to find the the, 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 the venom or whatever is inside it. For them to see if they can make some kind of herbs or, or whatever not herbs no herbs is from 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 herbs <laughs> but made some sort of um medicine i guess from the centipedes um thing and the venom inside the centipede so to speak and that's what they do in collecting the centipedes this is why they want them alive so that when they actually use them they can get some of the venom and stuff they call it venom it's not really venom but some centipedes do have some venoms inside there but people are actually going out there about 30 something people uh fully employed in finding centipedes in 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 barbados man <laughs> boy that is a job to find hey <laughs> but there is room for growth because i'm mm. i'm reaching out to different research institutes around the world to see if anybody else they call the first place that i stole on the idea to research the venom mm. i'm trying to approach in other countries uh, to see if you know we can get get the market to grow so that more Bajans can benefit from it. So Venom, Centipede, Venom have some sort of properties in there, guys. That is interesting. Barbados doing their thing, eh? Barbados is definitely doing their thing. I found one of those collectors <laughs> who has been cashing in on the venture. <laughs> guys, as I seen that there, I remember sometime a security guard was talking to me, man. And he told me he was doing the security guard stuff. He was guarding a building, man. And he felt something in his pants, man. <laughs> he felt something in his pants and he jumped in, man. He jumped in up for the jack. What did you do, 
The boy say he take out his pan say and when he remove his pan boy one giant centipede. <laughs> Father, one giant centipede just crawl out from the boy pants. So apparently he was in the he was passing around and one of the centipedes must have jump on him while he was walking in the bush. And then it end up inside his pants. He crawl and go inside, and the boy say he feeling something tickling. He not tickle, no. The boy say when he pull long his pants, boy one big centipede just climb out from that freaking. And the boy had that on father. No man trying to make money on centipede. That's if it's me. That whole field burning now. That whole field, all business closing, eh? Guys, I don't fret centipede, you know, but the thought of centipede alone making me vex. And it's amazing that I'm actually doing this, watching the centipedes right there, guys. I pray God no centipede come there. In to, the, to the point, guys, I actually crucified him. A centipede bite me once, man. I was sitting on by Ross. That was around Hurricane Mario time, doing my thing without internet. And sometimes you could go and go out or whatever. But I decided to stay outside, man. And I was on the thing, man, trying to do that thing. Quick, quick, boom, bang! Upload my video for me to go back home, man. You see me? Guys, centipede bite. I feel in something shy. Just, oh! I jump up, man. <laughs> Guys, when I turn on my phone, that was night time. When I turn on my phone, I see a centipede, man. I say, not today, father. Not today. <laughs> not today, Satan. Guys, I take toothpick, eh? take three, and I crucify the centipede. I make a cross on the centipede. I make a cross, toothpick in the ground on the centipede, man. I say, this is a sign. You pay the price. Huh? You like Jesus pay the price for us? <laughs> that one pay the price. For the other centipedes, brothers and sisters. That's what happened that day. And these boys are making money out of centipedes, man. Collecting them alive. Ha! <laughs> well, this the best, young man, eh? who just simply asked to be identified as Gorilla, sees it as... What is his name, Gorilla? This young man, who just simply asked to be identified as Gorilla, gorilla. sees it as a blessing. <laughs> you really have to be named Gorilla for you to be... Boy. He was laid off in March 2020. So the man laid off. Not true. Laid off. Like I said, the Dominicans, they get laid off or fired. Or they don't fire. No, they, they lose job. Job closed down, they don't laid off. <laughs> job closed down. So everybody auto job. You check? That's what happened. And the brothers see that as a, a way for him to make some money, man. And since then, he was doing odd jobs. Most recently, the bushing. A friend of my name, Arsena. Arsena. They want me to come and give him a little help up on the land here. So I tell myself, all right. So as I start to clean the land the he I come across sand feet. <laughs> My boy have that there like his, his juice he have there he was. Across <laughs> sand feet. And I say, yeah. Monday, <laughs> I come down here and I hold 25 bad boys. 25 bad boys. 25 centipede in your head, huh? Is a zoo, huh? 25 centipede <laughs> yeah normally all 25 of them would have been dead but no i collect them and they went and cash in of course 250 dollars easy 25 at 10. because so can you imagine that he was doing this job right there cutting grass and let's say they give him about 50 dollars 40 50 dollars for him to cut the grass right there he catches he catch 25 centipede in the grass that is $250 for him, plus the $40 or $50 he's gonna get. That is $290 or $300 the boy make for his day. Okay, that is Monday. Then now Tuesday, now I hold $37. $370 of, of, of centipede the boy get. $37 of these. Same size. Hmm. Yeah. Yesterday, now I hold 10. Yeah, that is $100. This Wednesday, I hold 10. So that is 72. 72. 720 dollars the brother make in three days, brothers and sisters. Three days, man. Santa Peace in three days. <laughs> Boy, which, which business you know? <laughs> which business you know in Dominica that giving you 720 dollars in three days, guys? And these things are all, the, all over the place. They are all over the place. Which means you can just decide, let me go and hunt. Hey, let me clean your grass for you now. No problem, man. No problem. Come and clean. Let me clean for free. And you get 30 centipede inside there. $300 for free. You cut grass. I mean, all that is in it. So, it is pay the bills. Of course. It help me eat. 
and survive. Of course. While some people have expressed concern about the collections offset in nature, Mr. Cor Collection? If you see centipede, it's cute, you can kill them. You see the centipede, instead of spraying them or killing them, you take them and you bring them and cash them out. That is, that is not thing in nature. You would still kill them anyway. But of course, brother, make your money, man. He says there's no need to worry. There are some places that I search myself and, and they get one every square meter. So you, if you calculate hmm. the, the land area of Barbados and do the math, and then knowing too that females producing up to 80 babies at a time. <laughs> Boy. And there's literally no way that you can make them go extinct. I mean, if decades and decades of pesticide spraying all over the place has exactly. not dented the population, they're still just as common. There's no way that you know, buying you know, a few hundred a month out of that is going to make any sort of difference whatsoever. Mr. <laughs> Corey is hoping to expand Boy, this. For the Lord, I swear that was going on the boy, honey. Concept in the future, once more researchers are willing to come on board. Rianne Phillips, CBC News. <laughs> well, big up them people for the innovative practices. That is kind of crazy. That is one I will not be a part of for sure. If it's me, I don't need direct opposite. All centipede, all centipede must die. It's not a might, they must die. In fact, I remember. I was walking out, well, that was when Ross was there. That's one of our cash cows that happened to leave Dominica because of the government. But I remember when Ross was there, guys. And some students were on the road. Now, I know these students right there. So I went up to them and think, they're watching something on the road. I myself checking, what they doing? You see me, what they doing? So I go and then people watching Centipede walk on the road. I said, your motor! My foot dog on that. But uh, your motor! They said, no! I say, if you think that thing coming at my home, no, it's far from my house, you know. But it can travel, it can walk, it has many legs, so it can walk faster. If you think that thing coming at my home, you lie! You lie! I kill all centipede, I say, please. I don't care who it be. I can be in America, I possibly can swim. Matter of fact, talking about swimming. Guys, I saw centipede swim in sea already. In Mero, we was. I think I, that if you were part of the if you are part of the membership vlog guys on the other channel, you will see that for yourself, guys. We saw a centipede swimming in the sea. Look, I just feel something on my foot. <laughs> Boy, you mad? We saw a centipede swimming, swimming, it swimming. You know, brothers and sisters, and that thing passed by man dig out there, boy. And it was just a little one, you know. But man dig out on that. We was riding jet skis. In Meru, and we dig out on that, eh? Yeah, boy. Centipede swimming, no way safe for man now. Centipede swimming. Ah. ah. Yes, father. Yes, father. No. Ah, oh, boy, I tell you. I was going to say there's no place, there's no rest for the wicked, but I want to rest. I'm not wicked. <laughs> yeah, boy, them people, they was. Hey, anyways, guys, there's another story breaking out, and this is it right there. USA donates drones to St. Kitts and Nevis and the OECS states, guys. Drones are so important now. Remember how they're saying, oh, drones, no. What if, Octavia, I was saying that, you know, what if you see drones and you became so scared and nervous and so forth and so forth? Anyways, they have decided to drone, um, donate drones to St. Kitts and Nevis. And guess who is also getting drones to, guys? Dominica. Look, Dominica. <laughs> The donation which was made on November on I mean November Wednesday 17th that was um two days ago um March 2021 will now see the CIMH allocating the drones to be used in Antigua and Barbados, Barbados, Dominica, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The reason why they're doing this, guys, is pretty much for the reason stated up here, guys, as a, as a result of natural disasters. So things uh, that your boy was doing six years ago during after hurricane um, and the hurricane, but tropical storm Erica, because I was doing the drone shots of what was taking place when the river came down and all this kind of craziness that's happening in in Kulib history um you know different parts where where so, even some of the um some of the bridges fell and this kind of things actually had footage of these things in the air showcasing to people what was happening and the danger and so forth and so forth in Kulib history guys so since 2015 i was on that vibe no 
them people own it. 2017, I went around doing most of the, the, the aerial shots in Dominica. I did all the aerial shots in Dominica when it comes down to um, disasters, Piti, Pichle, Grand Bay, um, north of Dominica, Portsmouth, Vicas, all kind of places I was doing after Hurricane Maria to ensure that people knew exactly what was going on. And even some individuals from overseas were like, yo, they finally get to see the house so they knew exactly what to give in their house. They saw the roof and whatnot so they knew they could send monies and, and so forth and so forth to help build back the roofs and stuff. So this is stuff that I've been doing for a while. And then we've seen that they have donated. I think this whole thing was as a result of St. Kitts and Nevis and then other Caribbean states. Um, like Dominica, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and Grenadines also got it. I think St. Vincent and Grenadines are pretty much getting that as well to take an observation of the volcano of La Sufria. They're also doing that in this regard. So Jones are very much helpful in this regard right there. So at least we're making some progress when it comes down to people understanding or utilizing the, the, the real concept of what the drones are supposed to be used for. And definitely this is what your boy it's pretty much all about right there anyways guys with that said check this out um it's on my view well, myviewnews.com you guys can definitely check it out right there and then and of course this is pretty much all you ask for this year reaction and let me know your thoughts in this regard would you become a centipede understanding people need money in this day and age and i wish they i wish they bring that in dominica because we need to get rid of them centipede wherever they be there I myself is spray big on, I would not be in that because I would be the absolutely enemy of those who want to make money from centipede. <laughs> Tell you straight straight. <laughs> I would be the enemy of you guys out there who want to go and make some money on centipede. But I think that is a good job right there. Get it before I reach. That is my point. Get the centipedes then before I reach. Because all centipede die. <laughs> I already crucified one of them. They pay the price for the rest already, so they can die too. They will go to centipede heaven or wherever that is. So with that said, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Would you become a centipede catcher if they actually had that in Dominica? I mean, you're making $720. It doesn't mean you'll do that every day. But if you really set your mind to go out there and catch centipedes, guys, you will definitely get beat for sure. <laughs> so if you don't mind getting beat and then still making a lot of money in this regard, the brother made $720 in three days, man. In three days, he made that money. And of course, what are your thoughts, man? Bajan dollars, of course, that's doubling our money. So that's about 720, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14